Hey, how's it going? It's Ryan, and I've been using a lot of AI lately. I've been using ChatGPT, I've been using Claude.ai, which I like more than ChatGPT. I'll go into that in a moment. Um, but let me give you a little bit of context here. How do I use artificial intelligence, generative text in my profession, which is in video production, television production, some vlogging, a lot of content creation. How do I use this and how do I do it while still feeling good about it? And one of the most important things that I've learned while using AI is that it works best when you tell it to interpret or reinterpret an original thought, something that you have thought of on your own, some a conversation that you've already had, having the AI take all of that information and use its formulaic approach to turn it into something else. Where AI fails in most instances from what I've seen is when you give it a very broad sort of prompt and it just pulls information out of who knows where, reinterprets things however it wants to, steals things, plagiarizes things, and sometimes just makes things up. It makes things up. I had an instance the other day where I was looking for ideas for uh, content for a YouTube video and I wanted to write a video about top five memoirs by Broadway performers. I know, very specific, very Ryan. Some of the suggestions were very good, but some of them were made up. They were, they were memoirs that don't even exist. I was Googling and looking on Amazon for this memoir, and it sounded fantastic. It was about Lynn Ahrens. Um, Lynn Ahrens, if you want to write a, a memoir about music and, and your aging mother and your relationship with your family, that sounds great, but that memoir does not exist. So here's what I found works really well. I'm going to show you two very different techniques that I use all the time for creating content, whether it's a script or a blog post or a YouTube video, here's what I do. First thing I do is I get out my phone because my phone has a great little feature on it called notes. The notes. And when I create a brand new note, there's a little button down here with a microphone on it, right there. And what that microphone allows me to do is to do speech to text. So now I'm talking and it is just showing everything that I'm saying. So if you have the gift of gab, which I'm getting better at, it's hard to get started, you can just talk about whatever you want and take a note for it. I'm just going to speak off the cuff for a little bit about a particular topic that I think I might want to make a YouTube video about. Okay? I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing. Why do I love Carrie the Musical so much, and why should you also love it? Okay, so there, I've been ranting for a few minutes now, and I have all of it here. Oh, let me stop this. I've got all of this here in my notes a very long rant about how much I love Carrie the Musical, which I'm going to try to turn into both a blog and a YouTube script. So what do I do? First, I gotta, I'm going to get this off my phone because I don't like working on my phone. So I'm just going to airdrop this to my computer. Okay, here we are in Claude.ai, and I like this program a lot more than ChatGPT for one main reason. It will allow you to paste something that you, uh, a long piece of text or dialogue into it uh, much longer than what ChatGPT would allow you to do. So I'm going to start a new chat here, and I'm going to message Claude. And let's start off with asking the uh, Claude to turn that long rambling that I made into a blog post. So turn this transcription into a long form blog post. Include a title. Opti optimize 
for SEO. And then I'm going to just paste that whole speech to text transcript that I had, control V, and it pastes it as a little text box there, which is amazing, and submit. And now it is going to interpret everything that I said and take all those ramblings and turn it into something usable. This is what AI is good for, is taking all this crazy information and applying a formulaic approach to it and turning it into something usable. And I'm just reading along right with it right now. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. If it's a little short, what you can do is tell it to make it longer. Make 400% longer. Let's see what it does. The timeless and peculiar appeal of Carrie the Musical, an ode to camp, catharsis, and shared queer culture. That's fabulous. I love it. This is great. This is great. So there you have it. This is one of the ways in which I frequently use AI to help me in my creative process. It is taking my own original thoughts and just making it better, just making it easier and doing it at a speed that I could never do. And of course, is it gonna be is it going to be perfect? Is it going to make some stuff up? Probably. But it gives me a great starting point for me to go in and, and fix things up. It, it did make up some stuff in here. It sure did. But that's up to you to be a good editor, to be a good writer, and to use, use this in the way that it's meant to be used. Okay, here's my second little tip here. If you, how to use AI, if you are in video production, how to use it um, a brand new way. So I'm gonna go onto my YouTube channel and something I'm good at doing is making video content. Something I'm not good at doing is writing descriptions, writing blog posts. I'm good at having the conversation. I'm not always good at, at writing all the content around it. So here I have a video that I did. It's an interview with my friend Jillian Gordon, fantastic actress, also a photographer, part of a series I've been working on. And here's something that you can do um, that's gonna help you. You're gonna click these three little bars right here, the three dots, show transcript. Click these three dots here, toggle timestamps. Now we have the full transcript that YouTube generated for this video. It's all the dialogue that I had back and forth with Jillian. This is a real conversation that we had in the moment, real conversation. Then I can use this tool, Claude.ai, and here's what I can do. Turn this YouTube transcript into a blog post. Paste it all in. And just like that, within moments, just like it did before, it's going to take that wonderful conversation, that vibrant, real conversation I had with Jillian, and it's going to turn it into a blog post. And of course, you need to check the spellings of things. I'm not Ryan Bogner, although shout out to Ryan Bogner. Jillian is spelled incorrectly, but it really has a lot of that information here. And then any, you can come up with countless prompts. Um, write a face, a social media 
post to promote this video. It's going to take all this information and it's going to transform it in the ways that you ask it to. Here we have a great social media post. Of course, it's giving me some things that are not correct, but it's doing it in rapid time. And it's huge. This is huge. So there you have it. Those are just some of the ways that I've been using ChatGPT and Claude AI to reinterpret content that I've already made. I had the conversation. I did the work with coming up with the questions and having real interactions in the moment. But this tool can take what you've made or what you've rambled about on your phone and help make it cohesive and consumable and also help you reach a, a larger audience. If I just put that post on, if I just put that YouTube video and published it, no one would be able to find it because you wouldn't be, there are no key words, there's no description. You can use a tool like this to interpret that conversation that you had and get keywords and get things that, to make that video actually searchable. So there you have it. I'm Ryan, and uh, I hope this was helpful.